Hello, this is Bocho's brother back with another one for you on Grim Hollow. We reached over 200 views on my Burak Empire video. So let's go ahead and jump into Lesich. Now Lesich is the city that is in between the Burak Empire and the Sharnalt Kingdom. It's a city on the water bay, the Green Gulf Bight Bay, and it is a city that is foggy, misty, green shores with seagulls flying over them. And the family that resides there is called the Bowenrocked family, led by Odo Bowenrocked, who several years ago was sailing out into the Bight Bay and he came across this area known as the Eye of the Sea. Now the Eye of the Sea is this portion of the sea that comes up at low tide that is covered with uh, barnacles, seaweed, dead sea creatures, fish bones, and oily silt, something like out of an HP Lovecraft story. And as he went into a cave on this island, he discovered a creature known as the Filth Grazer. Now this, grease, uh, this creature can take many forms. It's some sort of an eldritch entity. And because this port town was not doing so well, um, he made a pact with the silt grazer, or the filth grazer, and decided to offer the filth grazer all the trash, all of the uh, garbage, and even dead bodies provided by the city in exchange for wealth and power. And upon making this pact, he returned uh, to the city and soon the city of Lesich began to become a maritime power, building a port, building ships, and providing trade between the Sharnalt Kingdom, the Burak Empire, and as easy, even far north as um, the Grarjord. So he was becoming very powerful, his family was becoming powerful, and this exchange with the filth grazer was working out because uh, they would just float the bodies out to sea subtly. Nobody in the town knew about what was going on. So as this was happening, the Burak Empire decided, well, we need to get a piece of this. We need to get some taxation going on. We need to uh, assimilate this Lesich uh, city and region into our empire but they couldn't negotiate with the Bowen Rock family directly. So what they did is they used a vampirus that they had in captivity. Countess Annalita von Reise came to the ceremony known as the Nurturing Sea Festival in the fall to meet with the Bowen Rock family. And she proceeded to, instead of negotiate, uh, slaughter the entire family. This was known as the Red Morning. Uh, the town was in shock. She quickly usurped all the power in this city of Lesich and began to make uh, the most beautiful and elite people in the town into vampires. And she currently resides in a belfry tower in the city's center, along with her cult of the Black Lady, where they uh, run things in this town, which is currently kind of uh, blocked out from the other regions of Chardonnay and the Burak Empire. I'll let you know how that happened. Once the uh, Oto and the Bowenrock family was slain and the filth grazer suddenly wasn't receiving these dead bodies, these bloated bodies floating out to sea, as well as the, all the trash and garbage from the city, the filth grazer was displeased. The filth grazer um, began to cause problems in the city. It unleashed one of the worst plagues in all of Etheris, known as the Weeping Pox. Now this is a plague very similar to the Black Plague where pustulos begin to form. Um, the one who gets this plague gets uh, very excited, they get a hot fever, they become very active, and shortly after that they become very sick with the pustules, which begin to burst and so on, and then they die within two weeks. 
Um, the vampiress was immune to this as well as her vampires, but it caused the city of Lesich to go into quarantine. It caused all the success provided by their maritime trade and um, all of their commerce to uh, begin to fail in the past recent years. And so the vampires wanted to be powerful. She didn't want to continue with the Burak Empire or any other empire, but she did not want to be uh, left with this uh, desecrated city. So she herself um, rode out to the Bight Bay, out to the Eye of the Sea. That's this, this island that uh, is revealed at low tide and fought with the Fieldgazer for an entire day. They battled. As she's a vampire, she was able to heal and, and uh, survive, but we're not sure if either of them won that battle. Uh, during the battle, enormous storms and gales uh, crashed over the, the city of Lesich, destroying much of the docks and the city's uh, uh, bay area by the waterfront. And she is currently healing along with her cult of the Black Lady in this Belfry Tower. She hasn't been seen for months ever since this battle which leaves us with this town that has uh, the Weeping Pox. It has this H.P. Lovecraft-like uh, entity that's causing uh, some, of the, not, some of the townsfolk to even mutate into um, these creatures. Something like in the Pirates of the Caribbean 2 movie, where those uh, people were half hammerhead shark or half Crab, um, Dagon is another great film with this kind of lurking, uh, creepy in the shadows, uh, foreshadowing you could do as a dungeon master to the um, party discovering what's going on in this town, that they are becoming these mutations. And the mutations that could be found in this book, The Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, if uh, characters wanted to play as one of these mutations or you wanted to make some monsters for that you could use these simic hybrids from this book here as well as the spore druid that's also found in here that could be used in this city so yes it's a city similar to all of these uh, misty foggy greenish sea uh, pumak seaweed kind of uh, environment. Also uh, from Game of Thrones, the Kraken, uh, the Drowned God, the House Greyjoy, all of this kind of feeling can be brought about by visiting this city in particular. Um, also, many people have not been able to leave this city in recent years, so you have a very poor population who are um, in dire straits. There is a uh, small trading company, maybe these humans with kind of beards and sailor hats that uh, have black market goods. They're called the Golden Barge Company. So you may run into some of those guys and be able to trade and sell items. Um, there's also a church, which is um, the path to the church is kind of revealed at low tide. When high tide comes up, you'd have to row out to this church cathedral. So um, that that would be something very interesting to uh, visit. It's known as the Froth Church. And there is also a cult there. Uh, well, there's the cult of the Black Lady, but there's also these guys in kind of uh, plague doctor uniforms, uh, you know, kind of the pointed masks. They're known as the Morbus Doctori, and they claim to have the cure to these weeping pox but everyone they take into their care tends to disappear and you have a situation where they're using torturous uh, technology something like maybe the Wolfenstein games there to cure people but uh, I don't think anyone has found uh, someone who's had the weeping pox and been able to come back from having them having been cured by the Morbus uh, Doctori. Um, so Lesich is a city that's dying, uh, its population, its con economy is bust, and um, definitely an interesting place for our adventurers to visit. 
Uh, we have the vampires there. And even in my campaign that I'm running now, we have a character who is uh, a character who is kind of one of these people who was taking the dead bodies out to the filth grazer, uh, who had never left Lesage, who'd grown up in this town with this thing and uh, has now been escaped and is now out in the rest of the world of uh, Etheris. So definitely an interesting place to visit. I hope you can use it in your campaign. And other than that, we'll see you next time for our next video. Until then, farewell.